Support comes from Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to sustainable and sound conservation of the state's forests, which support more than 41,000 Missouri jobs, resulting in a $10 billion industry. Choosewood.com. From the St. Louis Public Radio newsroom, this is The Gateway. It's Monday, March 9th. I'm Maria Altman, in for Wayne Pratt. Ahead, the first person in Missouri presumed to have the novel coronavirus may have kept the disease from spreading by isolating herself as soon as she got sick. This person returned home, followed all the proper procedures for the quarantine, and when they became symptomatic, they were tested in a local facility. Everyone in that local facility followed all the proper precautions. St. Louis Public Radio's Sarah Fenton reports local and state health departments are now tracking down people who the woman may have come in contact with. First, the news. The family of the Ledoux woman who recently tested positive for coronavirus could face a court-ordered quarantine. As St. Louis Public Radio's Corinne Ruff reports, that comes after the woman's father violated the St. Louis County Public Health Department's guidelines on Saturday by leaving his home. The 20-year-old infected woman first reported symptoms to the county health department on Thursday. That's when the family was told to isolate themselves in their home. But on the day the woman's coronavirus test came back positive, her father attended a school function with his other daughter. St. Louis County Executive Sam Page says the county health department sent the family a letter Sunday informing them it could issue a court-ordered quarantine. We are depending on the family to exercise good judgment to recognize that this is serious, that we expect a quarantine. The infected woman is presumed to be the first person in the region to test positive for coronavirus. Her family members have not been tested because they haven't shown hallmark symptoms of the virus, like a high fever and a cough. I'm Corinne Ruff, St. Louis Public Radio. Amtrak officials confirmed yesterday the woman took a train from Chicago to St. Louis last week. The company said it's taken the train out of service for a deep clean and disinfection. It's also in the process of notifying passengers and employees who may have been on that train. Bloomington, Illinois resident Sally Pine rode an Amtrak train along the same route a day after the infected woman took her trip. Oh, I have some concerns. I don't think there's any reason. There's not much you can do except take as many precautions as possible and go from there. Pine, a frequent Amtrak traveler, says she already washes her hands frequently. In response to the local coronavirus case, St. Louis Lambert International Airport says it will also increase cleaning in public areas and add more hand sanitizer stations. Doctors can now request tests for the new coronavirus disease from commercial laboratories, Quest and LabCorp. However, it will still take several days for tests to say whether a person has been infected. Hillary Babcock is an infectious disease specialist at Washington University. She says Wash U and Barnes Jewish Hospital are trying to make testing available in-house so they can provide results faster. It's a significant process to be sure that the test can be run safely and accurately and that the results are reliable. So it's not something that can necessarily be brought up sort of in a day. Rural women with ovarian cancer are more likely to be diagnosed with an advanced stage of the disease. That's the finding of a new study in the Journal of Rural Health that looked at ovarian cancer diagnoses in Missouri, Kansas, and Iowa. Lead author Kristen Weeks of the University of Iowa says her team is not sure the ca- of the cause for the difference. She says one possibility in rural women are more likely to have other medical conditions. And that kind of suggests that if women are sicker, and have more medical conditions, they might miss and their doctors might miss symptoms of cancer because they're associating them with the other conditions that they're known to have. Week says she plans to continue her research into disparities between urban and rural areas in treating ovarian cancer. About a dozen medical marijuana patients and caregivers attended a workshop Saturday to learn the basics of growing their own plants. Instructor Zachary Post has been holding workshops in St. Louis and Maryland Heights for about a year. He says patients should be able to help themselves before dispensaries open, which is still a few months away. And just like planting anything, there are a lot of valuable techniques. Anybody can just grab some seeds and plant some seeds and grow ditch cannabis, right? (laughs) But we really specialize into like the the ins and outs of like growing quality cannabis. What you feed that plant is going to reward you. How you love on that plant is just going to reward you back. Post is the founder of Elite Home Growers Academy. He says so far about 200 people have taken his workshops, which also teach investing in cannabis stock and cooking with marijuana. (music) 
A St. Louis County woman who is first in Missouri to have the new coronavirus acted quickly to seek medical attention. Health officials say that likely kept the virus from spreading. St. Louis Public Radio's Sarah Fenton reports state and local health departments are identifying people the woman had contact with so they can test them if they show symptoms. The woman became sick after returning from Italy, which has a large number of people sickened by the coronavirus. That means she likely didn't catch it from someone in Missouri. But officials say more people will contract the virus in the coming weeks and urged residents to protect themselves. St. Louis County Executive Sam Page says the woman took care to keep others from contracting the virus once she started feeling sick. She called the county coronavirus hotline, where local health officials found she met the criteria for testing. This person returned home, followed all the proper procedures for the quarantine, and when they became symptomatic, they were tested in a local facility. Everyone in that local facility followed all the proper precautions. County staff arranged for her to visit Mercy Hospital St. Louis, where doctors evaluated her in a pressurized room to ensure other people wouldn't be exposed. The doctors sent a sample to a state-run diagnostic lab, which found she had the virus. Page says it's important to remember those steps as more people are likely to test positive in the coming days. Remember, prevention is the key. This coronavirus may be new, but the ways to prevent it are tried and true and well-established. The woman didn't have serious enough symptoms to be hospitalized, but she is isolating herself at home. She's expected to recover. Her family members have not been tested because they don't have symptoms. State Health Director Randall Williams says the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services is helping the county health department track down the people she had contact with before she developed symptoms and give them tests. We have those available uh, to the St. Louis County Health Department as we assist them in tracking these patients. But as you've heard, um, we are well prepared for this. We've done this in uh, other instances. County officials say the woman flew into O'Hare Airport in Chicago and spent a few days there before taking an Amtrak train back home on March 4th. Hillary Babcock, a Washington University infectious disease specialist at Barnes Jewish Hospital, says the state has been preparing for weeks. This doesn't actually change our level of worry and concern that much. She says the new coronavirus is spread mostly through water droplets from infected people. Most of the transmission occurs from people who are symptomatic. Most of the transmission occurs when people are coughing and sneezing. Because the woman became ill after she arrived home, people who she came into contact with during her trip in Chicago and on the train aren't at a high risk for infection. But it's possible there are others in Missouri with the virus who the state doesn't know about. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention provides test kits to state labs. And the Missouri Health Department doesn't have enough to test everyone who wants one. They've only tested about 30 people for the virus. Babcock says that makes it hard to determine where the disease has spread. It's not like you can receive a test today and start offering millions of tests tomorrow. So there is a process involved in that, and I think that the the limitations in getting people tested have definitely um, been a barrier to really understanding what's happening in our own country. Doctors have only been testing people who show symptoms and who have been to an affected country or have had contact with a person who is tested positive. Williams, of the health department, says more tests will be available in the coming days. Private labs will soon be able to run tests if a doctor orders them. Williams also says $9 million of federal emergency funding is coming to Missouri. That will help the department buy more tests and ensure it has the staff to evaluate patients. I'm Sarah Fenton, St. Louis Public Radio. Our David Casares edited that piece. The executive editor of St. Louis Public Radio is Shula Newman. Music by Ryan McNeely of Adult Fur. I'm Maria Altman, and from the St. Louis Public Radio newsroom, this has been The Gateway. Support comes from Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to sustainable and sound conservation of the state's forests, which support more than 41,000 Missouri jobs, resulting in a $10 billion industry. Choosewood.com.